Buat press uh, Bahawa kerajaan BN Telah mengenal pasti isu Kuih Seksia Seram dan lama dah Dan kita telah berikan mereka Tempat yang selesa uh, Iaitu di Seksia 18 ni Dan kita buat infra Kos infra ni saja 600 ribu kita belanja dan saya rasa tak ada negeri yang sanggup siapkan kos infra untuk bina rumah ibadah bukan Islam. Tapi kita dah buat, kita offer mereka untuk pindah kemari. Dan ada ada yang mengatakan tempat tak sesuai, kita offer satu tempat lagi. Section 22. Yang itu infra tak, tak sempat nak buat kerana lepas itu kita kalah pilihan raya. Jadi mengatakan bahawa Barisan Nasional tidak mengambil berat tentang kuil satu perkara yang amat uh, uh, tidak adil. Dan, dan jadi masalah sekarang ni kerana Pakatan Rakyat berjanji kepada rakyat. Bila mana mereka berjaya pilihan raya, mereka akan bina kuih sesuai 23. Jadi untuk menuntut janji yang telah mereka katakan, bukan kerana kesalahan barisan nasional. BN telah siapkan. Dan kita tengok hari ni, kalau tengok, tapaknya cukup strategik dan paling sesuai. Dengan infra, kita siapkan sekali. Jadi tuduhan mengatakan bahawa barisan nasional tidak melakukan apa-apa ketika mana saya yang dibesar, itu tak benar sama sekali. Dan tapak ini disiapkan pada tahun 2007. Dan kita tawarkan kepada bukan sahaja kuil, kepada agama lain. Untuk bina. Uh, uh, tujuh lot. Untuk bina rumah ibadah mereka di sini. Dan mereka boleh uh, mendapatkan fasiliti dengan baik. Kebercakap tidak nak fakta. Exco Ronilu pula kata kita tak ada data-data detail. Tentang rumah-rumah ibadah Kita ada semua detail Data yang mereka gunakan hari ini pun Data yang di, dikemaskinikan oleh Kerajaan Barisan Nasional Malah jantan kuasa yang ada hari ini pun Strukturnya masih sama Dengan jantan kuasa yang diwujudkan ketika mana BN menjadi kerajaan Tidak ada satu benda baru pun Benda baru satu je Menyalahkan orang lain ha, Itu benda baru yang berlaku pada hari ini Jadi saya agak rakan-rakan Prime boleh tengok sendiri Betapa kita jujur, kita ikhlas Dan BN Khususnya AMNO tak pernah menolak rumah ibadah bukan Islam dibina di kawasan-kawasan uh, di Shah Alam. Memang ketika awal kita bincang, Section 23 tidak mahu terima kuil di kawasan tersebut. Sebab itulah kita siapkan tapak di Section 18 dan Section 22. Dan isu kepala lembu umpamanya, uh, mungkin ada kesilapan uh, mereka lakukan. Tapi tujuan mereka bawa kepala lembu bukan untuk hina orang India. Tujuan nak menggambarkan bahawa kerajaan hari ini bertindak tidak mengikut fikiran. Kerana tapak dah disiapkan. Kenapa tak pindah? Kerajaan tidak berfikir. Jadi tunjukkan kepala lembu ni adalah seekor binatang yang bodoh. Menganggap uh, kerajaan hari ini membuat keputusan yang bodoh. Mengganggu keteteraman penduduk-penduduk di Seksyen 23. Itu saja. Bukan ada isu agama, tak ada. The thing is now, kita kena cari solusi yang terbaik. Sensitivity rakyat kena jaga. Sebab tu kita pun cari tapak yang terbaik. Yang kita rasa tidak akan menimbulkan sensitiviti antara agama dan kita boleh hidup dalam keadaan yang aman damai. That's the first choice. Uh, I think I have been involved with this matter for more than 10 years, about 15 years now. And uh, right from the beginning, uh, it has been a sort of a humiliation and torture to the temple officials. Every time they have been harassed, the temple officials have been harassed, move there, move here. I don't know what made them build houses where there was a 150-year-old temple. Today they are talking about the wishes of the residents in section 23. What did they do that uh, 20 over years ago when they, uh, the residents who were there were families of uh, more than 100 years and they were never consulted and neither were they offered anything very reasonable. What, what do you mean? <coughs> who, who are you referring to now? Uh, the developers. The developers. Uh, whoever, uh, the developers of that uh, area. So we have right from the beginning uh, together with the temple leaders at that time the MIC was also involved met the uh, state government officials on many occasions and each time they gave ultimatum to move the temple and so on and uh, we have appealed to them and every time they come and offer areas which are not at all suitable. 
So this time, after a long, long time, they have come and offered an area which the temple thought uh, is suitable. And it is not at all that near to the <coughs> Muslim normally residents. It is not that near. It is about 300 meters or more away. And now the authorities are willing to go even further deeper so that it will be a little further away. No, the protester actually, you see, the protester is, is they, they made a, even or direct or indirectly, they have uh, bring up the racial issue, you see, it's a very sensitive issue on our religion because we, we, we uh, the cow is a, uh, is a uh, great, uh, sacred, sacred uh, thing for us. So where they have uh, bring a cow weight and uh, step on it and it's this look uh, that they have uh, insult that uh, religion, you see. We demanding them to apologize, that means not uh, we, we, that, that didn't show we, we, uh, we ask the government not to take action against them. We want the government to look into it very seriously because it's a sensitive issue. If nothing have done by the federal, uh, that, 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 that uh, authority, then they did, you see, it's, is everybody looking on on what that uh, the authority want to do? You see, because if we leave this one at this this moment, then the next going to happen again, and again, and everywhere in Malaysia. So we don't want that to happen. Hindu Sangam name has been used wrongly by certain people. We do not know who. Even today, I saw in the new newspaper saying that the Malaysia Hindu Sangam. Officials are meeting the residents of the uh, Section 23, which is not true. We later found out that there were other people who belong to other organizations which may have a similar name, you see. And uh, those officials must have been misunderstood to be officials of the Malaysia Hindu Sangha. Yeah. We don't mind meeting uh, uh, any minister, ministry, whether federal or local government, but to go and meet the protesters, especially those who have insulted the religion of carrying the cow head, seen in the picture of the press sitting beside the minister or behind the minister, is something which is shocking. So I think uh, this must be clear, and I'm happy today that the minister said that the police will be taking action. With the resident, we, we 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 can have a meeting with the residents, not with the uh, not, with the, not, with, the not, not with, with the protesters, not with the protesters. We will have a meeting with the residents uh, to get their view also. You see, as one Malaysian, we have to respect each another and uh, get a tolerance and all these things. So it's not tolerance only one from one party, mm -hmm. but with every party. You see, we when we look, the, we we expect the tolerance for every party for us uh, live in harmony.